Have you ever wanted someone to describe how to make a really simple cutting board that you've probably seen a hundred other times on this fucking... Who can't curse this quick? I guess I just did, though. So, this cutting board's gonna be out of walnut. I'm making two kinds. One out of walnut, one out of maple. And you're seeing the walnut one. I skipped over the whole, like, uh, milling process of the wood because that's really boring. It's not fucking boring. It's just boring. Getting ready for the glue up. I thought it would be good to just include all of the bullshit that goes into getting ready for glue up because it's literally like the majority of the process, but probably the most boring part. I ripped the walnut down into two inch strips because I feel better doing it that way. I don't know if there's any good reason to, but it makes me feel better, so that's why I did it. Glue. Lots of glue. And then I use this roller. I like using a roller because I hate getting glue on my hands because I've got all sorts of like gross texture issues. So I wear gloves and uh, use a roller. More of the boring ass glue up. I don't like trying to get these perfectly even, just like enough so that I don't lose a ton of material off the end, but I make everything about an inch longer than it needs to be. And then I use these calls. I don't really use the calls to keep it perfectly flat, but just to keep it, like, generally flat. So that I can take the calls off and then put it through the planer afterwards and don't have to worry about it being all wonky. Tightening clamps. I bet you've never seen this shit before. Super exciting. I still have the gloves on. Apparently I don't like touching clamps. I also wipe the glue off the, to the top, the front, the back, the whatever the fuck. I wipe the glue off, but like you see it's not really wiping off because I don't really care about getting it all off. It's just again just trying to get it flat so I don't get a ton of beads when I'm like trying to put it through the planer to fuck it up. Here's some very artistic camera work. And we're at the planer. I also make the width of these things like 12 and a half inches because the planer's 13, so it just works out. And now we're putting a squiggle in it. There's no like thought behind the squiggle, I just kind of squiggle. And then this is a little jig for making thin strips on my table saw so that they can be all repeatable. Every strip I cut on this thing is about 0.035 thick. I love this jig. It has made my life so much easier. Fancy shot of me putting more glue on. There's like so many glue ups involved with this whole thing, so just keep your pants on. I started putting the strips on like this, like they're almost veneer. I found that to be way easier than like putting the strip between the board and trying to squish them together. This way I can like make sure that it's placed correctly. And yeah, the strip is on there now so I can just flop that bitch down and tighten her up. And we have more putting clamps on. I didn't wear gloves this time because I wasn't really dealing with a lot of glue. It just clamps out the ass, like every clamp you can imagine. Just put uh, fucking clamps all over that thing. more artistic shots and there's our second glue up done and I'm just scraping some of the glue off I'm not using a hand plane because I'm a fucking heathen I didn't actually need to go back in the planer I just got right on the bandsaw and I scraped the glue off to make sure I have a flat surface because if it's not flat and then you cut it on the bandsaw and it's not at a freaking 90 degree angle you're gonna have a really bad time with your next glue up which is this one for the third glue up I was like how can I make this visually interesting? I know, I'll put the camera over it. And boy, was that a pain in the ass to set up. Again, putting on the strip like that instead of veneer like that. What a great description. I'm glad you've all shown up for my wonderful fucking narrative here. More gluing up. Like, this video is, like, seriously 80% just glue ups because that's, that's all this build is. And we're tightening clamps again. And no gloves again because I'm not really dealing with a ton of glue. Just wiping it flat to get ready for... What are we doing next? I don't remember. I guess I'll find out when I keep watching the video with all of you. More clamps, of course. All the clamps. Back in the planer. Yeah, we're flattening it out now before we do the next bandsaw cut. Because it was a little bit wonky and I didn't want to fuck up the next bandsaw cut. Oh, actually, I'm not doing another bandsaw cut. What the fuck am I talking about? Oh, wow. Uh, if I was actually, like, legit, I'd probably go back and re-edit that, but it's not happening. Uh, I cut it down into, like, that one blank turns into three cutting boards, and that's what I was doing on the miter saw. And this is through the drum sander. The drum sander is just, like, cheating. It's it's the best tool ever. It just, like, makes sure everything's flat and gets all, like, the snipe gone. It's just wonderful. Putting a chamfer on it. Chamfers are great because it, like, makes it look nice, but it also allows you to put a chamfer on the fucked up side of the cutting board so that people don't have to, like, look at it. Pro tip right there. 
It also scares the shit out of me to use my router table. I, I really just imagine my hand going into that fucking pit and having a bad time. And then, like, some of these boards had voids on them, so I'm using epoxy to fill the voids, because of course. And I use this, this is the first time I used this black dye. This stuff was, like, thicker and blacker than, like, a bloody upper GI shit. It was amazingly black. I was actually worried that it was going to stain the board, but worked out pretty well. I put an ass load of epoxy on it because it's going to settle into that hole and you want to have more on it than you need or else it's going to make dimples and it's a bad time. Sanding. The best part of sanding is filming this and then turning it off, turning the camera off, and then going back and like turning all the lights on and actually sanding. I just use walrus oil, uh, which is basically like fancy mineral oil. And they're done. This is the two kinds of boards. Walnut with a squiggle and uh, maple with a squiggle.